Hey guys, hello, it's Sylvia here from Sylvia's Mystics and today I'm here to share with you a special video because we actually are at the very end of this lunar cycle. So this is a video that you can use for any lunar cycle actually. When we arrive at the last day, it means that tomorrow we are going to have the new moon. And so something very special actually opens up for us up there in the sky in the cosmos so what i usually do is taking my <laughs> my notebook my journal and i write down a report this is a special day because you know we have the opportunity to stop and ponder in the darkness in the safety of our own heart about what has going on for us in the past four weeks since the previous new moon so we go back for approximately four weeks and you know we start reviewing things what has happened to us what is unfolding which special meetings may be what is it that right here right now is still useful to our growth and we need to have the capacity to discern what it is not, what has finished its purpose, its mission in our life, so that we can let it go. And as we let it go, obviously we create new space. And in this new space, first of all, we are grateful and thankful for all the things that came to us, the useless things, the things that now have become useless and we can let go because we have received their elixir, their lessons, their gifts. And also we are grateful for all the things that came to us that we were able to embrace, receive and encourage in a certain way in our own life and that are still useful for our growth. And so all the things and people and, you know, circumstances that are here with us right now and are still alive, are still giving us something so that we can keep evolving. And then in this space of darkness, which, you know, foreseen the upcoming new moon, we also have the possibility to go very deep down ourselves and to find what we desire to focus on, to put our energies on for the next cycle. So basically what we do today at the very end of a lunar cycle is an inventory, a review of the previous four weeks. What has been useful to my growth? What is still useful now what can i let go what can i keep with me as i proceed and i move towards the next phase and especially what is it that i desire now so we go through these three pivotal things letting go the old being grateful for what we have that is still useful for our growth and then getting clear with our desires. Tomorrow, it will be another story. We will talk about planting new seeds and becoming committed to new energies. But for today, we go through this ritual. And I feel like, you know, underline with all my power, the potency of this ritual because as we write down we have a physical proof you know on paper of our evolution of our transformation of our shifts and changes in the last four weeks because you know sometimes and i dare say often <laughs> we are ready to complain about what we have what we would love to have what we had in the past and maybe we don't have now but you know as we focus on the now something magical happens we have an awareness 
an expanded awareness, awareness, especially when we go through our review and then we read it again and again, that, oh my God, yes, I am shifted. I am a different person now than when I was four weeks ago. So you see, writing a report, it's very potent and powerful to be more grateful for what we have, for who we are, for all the changes that came into our life. And it's a very potent ritual and practice to, you know, truly get clear with the fact that we are always a work in progress. We are always progressing, evolving, changing. And as long as we are alive, in this life, in this physical body, with this unique life experience we have been given or we have been choosing <laughs> many, many lunar cycles ago, actually, you know, this is something in perpetual motion. And so this is something we can harness in our moments of maybe loneliness or doubt, doubts or uncertainty. You know, we always have what we need deep within us and writing a report allows these things to emerge, allow these things to come to the surface so that we can concretely see them and we can embody the fact that we are changing, we are evolving. And so we can also nurture our hope, our trust in who we are, in a divine power all around us and in the process of becoming and especially in the process of being who we are. So this is a very important day at the end of the lunar cycle and this is a ritual and a practice that you can go through at each cycle and the more you go through it the more powerful it becomes. And not only the ritual, but you become more powerful. We become more powerful because we start seeing the fruits of our work, of our practice, of our dedication. To what? To cosmos, to life within us and outside of us. So this is what I'm going through, you know, right now. And I'm actually taking a moment to write my journal keep writing my journal and then maybe I will go back and I will reread some of my pages and I will stare at my script and I will say yes I'm evolving I keep on coming back to my heart to find my truth I know that everything I need is inside myself and as I seep all the magic of this cycle that has just passed, as I'm completing it, I am super grateful for who I am right now. And I'm getting ready to become someone new and more expanded and renewed and recharged and revitalized as the new cycle will begin tomorrow. So let's enjoy this moment together and let's take a deep breath and some moments, maybe half an hour to go through our ritual, the Lunar Report. Enjoy my friend. 